Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of boxing. According to Dan Raphael, he has several of Tank's pay-per-view numbers. We'll go over them. And I'll give my honest opinion about him. So versus Leo Santa Cruz, he did anywhere between 225,000. That's where he gave that devastating knockout. Mario Barrios, when he moved up to 140 and won the WBA regular title. Uh, Isak Cruz, 200,000. That's where he went 12 rounds the distance. Rolly Romero, 275,000. That's where him and Rolly was, was running their mouth. Well, Rolly was running his mouth, should I say. And then Tank put Rolly to sleep. Rolly didn't even do an interview. He just walked out the ring wobbly. Hector Garcia. Then he fought Ryan Garcia. Oh, I'm, I'm tripping. Rolly Romero did 275,000. Hector Garcia did 200, 215,000. Versus Ryan Garcia, 1.2 million. And versus Frank Martin, anywhere between 325 and 350K. Now, you have people saying that Tank is a pay per view star. Leonard Ellerby. A lot of people have been clowning other fighters, i.e., the Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. There's this rumor that they didn't really do that much. And then Devin and Ryan both saying that Oscar didn't pay him and so on and so forth. Is Tank Davis a pay-per-view star? Well, if these numbers are true, um, I'll say star-ish. Star-ish. Now, to be fair, to be fair, a lot of piracy, I'm sure it probably was. I'm going to give it. I'm going to say at least 3 million people watched that fight outside of pay-per-view orders so if this was you know 10 15 years ago i'm sure he might have did a half a million easily pay-per-view wise but problem is tank needs a a dancing partner and i keep saying this with all these fighters can they be pay-per-view stars sure but who do you know that really do pay-per-views like that that don't really have dancing partners even with floyd right showtime wanted to recoup that money showtime cbs want to recoup that money with floyd so what what happens floyd in the fight manny pacquiao to make all that money back Three hundred and fifty thousand again it's solid numbers honestly i don't have a problem with it i guess my only thing is you got some tank you know extreme fans where you can't even say anything like this and again a star ish yeah you know, I, to me, in order to be a pay-per-view star, you got to do at least, honestly, 400000 and up. But Tank says he has this list, right? A list of fighters. Can Tank and Loma do 400000 I think so. Can Tank and Shakur do 400000 Absolutely, without a question. Can Tank and Devin Haney do 400000 at least? Absolutely, without a question. And honestly, the last three, I could see them doing probably at least 500000 Can Tank and T.O. do 400000 Maybe. Maybe. But... I'm sure it'd be a lot of trash talking at the press conference, so that could end up happening. So I do see that the, the sky's the limit for Tank is just, you know, Tank versus Frank Martin, it's not going to move the needle. I'm sorry. Hector Garcia is not going to move the needle. Uh, Mario Barros ain't going to move the needle. Now, Isai Cruz might be able to move the needle. Now, the Isai Cruz is, what, the WBA champion at 140 pounds, and he has his own fan base. If Tank were to move up to 140 and fight Isai Cruz, absolutely. I could absolutely see that being at least 500,000. And, you know, they fight in either September or May or, you know, to try to get, uh, or at least try to fight around Cinco de Mayo. I could absolutely see that. But the whole point is Tank's going to have to fight other fighters leo santa cruz was too small mario barrios eh, nobody thought he would win and i mean the list goes on and on so let's see tank fight the best and then we can give him the crown and it's so funny because when i criticize him or criticize any of these fighters but i was like oh david hayes the face of boxing i'm saying that because that's all people are talking about i don't hear people talking about tank like how they do with devin and people hate devin so much that they over he overshadows tank this is my opinion. I got people in my comment section. Oh, you know what you're talking about. Oh, you stupid. Oh, I took my like away. Because I'm giving my opinion? But I come on here and I defend Tank? I'm fighters of all of these all of these guys. I just don't like the fact that with Ryan Poole, with the whole, you know, testing positive for PEDs, I'm sorry, what's right is right, it was wrong is wrong. But, you know, you can't, we live in this, in this real world to where, I'm cool if I praise your guy, but then if I criticize him, you know what I'm saying? You unsubscribe, you give me a thumbs down. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm stupid. But then, you know, if this fighter come out and change his mind or, or if Tank come out there and take a loss, y'all going to sit there and start laughing at him. Yet, I'm going to still be up here making content about it. But again, is he a star? Star-ish. Like I said, you get these other dancing partners? Absolutely. And one thing I will say, I'm down here in Atlanta. They did have some fight parties down here for Tank. So... You know, to be fair, again, star-ish. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. And again, before y'all click off the video, when I say star-ish, I'm talking about doing pay-per-view numbers. But yeah, let me tell me what y'all think.